this problem, Keisha has one penny, one nickel, and one dime in her pocket. One of each. She randomly takes one coin out of her pocket. And the key phrase here is that she does not put the coin back. So that helps us remember that once a coin is taken, it's not returned. And then after that happens, she randomly takes out another coin. If Keisha lists all the possible outcomes of picking the two coins, so she's picking two coins at a time, how many outcomes are there? Well, one way to think about this is to set up a tree diagram. And on your first pick, you can pick out a penny, a nickel, or a dime. And then, if you picked a penny, there's no more penny in the pocket, you can get a nickel or a dime. So there's two possibilities right there. And if you pick a nickel out on the second pick, there's only a penny and a dime left, right? Because you took the nickel out. And if you picked a dime, there's a nickel and a penny left. So this means that on the first choice, there were three possibilities, right? Penny, nickel, or dime. On the second choice, there are two options for each category, depending on how you picked. So altogether, there are six options six total possibilities. And you can see them here in the tree. Here's one possibility, and then penny, dime counted again. That's the second possibility. Nickel, penny, three. Nickel, dime, four. Dime, nickel, five. And then dime, penny, six possibilities. So this is a, a tree diagram, and it shows us all the different combinations. And really what this is relating to is something called a permutation. The arrangements in which we can actually choose different things. So in the first case, in the first pick, there are three choices, three coins, and regardless of which coin we take, we know in the second choice there are two possibilities. So by multiplying them, we get all six possibilities. Now what if we didn't put the coin back? What if we always left that coin out? Well then, in the second choice, there would still be another three options, and there would be nine permutations here. Um, and so that's it. Thanks.